Cheekest Man here with Lexi Diamond. Welcome back to the, the Late Night Tea Show. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And welcome back to the 30 years of Halloween. Mm. Ooh, we are slacking. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> yeah. We have, we have lives, to be fair. Like, come on. We're just irresponsible adults. You still love us, right? We trouble to maintain our channel. What do yeah. you do? What do you every do? Every day, guys. It's every day. <laughs> well, it's 1999. And I chose yet another Disney original TV movie, Don't Look Under the Bed. Scary. Lexi, what did you choose? I chose The Ninth Gate. Mm -hmm. Very different for me. Very adult themed movie. Mm -hmm. Very dark. Never seen it, so. Very sacrilegious. So, The Ninth Gate really is about this rare book dealer that gets contacted by this really rich person who's mainly trying to track down, like, original copies of this demon book that basically shows you, like, how to summon the devil and how to open the Ninth Gate, which is a biblical term for hell. Like, so, basically what happens is he starts tracking this by... Uh, that drug dealer, drug dealer, book dealer. This book dealer is Johnny Depp's character. And he basically starts following these strange people, starts investigating these books, and gets really enthralled and absorbed into what this world is. And like, there's entire cults dedicated to this. And they like have orgies in order to like summon like demons. Hot. And like they murder people. And very it's a very... It's a very beautifully shot movie. This all takes place in Europe and like you have amazing visuals and a story that has substance and above that like just really really good acting. And like it just it doesn't really take it to a cartoony or campy level, which is weird for me because I usually love that, but this was something that was really like outlandish, but it took itself so seriously that I took it seriously. And it was like a really good movie for that you know it was it wasn't so much horror as it was creep and just like suspense and like you didn't know what else was gonna happen um the ending of the movie is very like cliffhanger like you're just like what what just happened like it's very it just keeps you wanting more which i think is a good technique in movie making sometimes like leaving them wanting more so I think this was a really good movie, and Johnny, like, Johnny Depp has always just been an amazing actor. Like, let's just get that out of the way. But, like, this was a very, like, exceptional, exquisite, like, part of his rapport, I feel. It was a good movie. Mm, interesting. Yeah. I've never seen it. I recommend it. Especially if anyone out there is like me that doesn't mind or isn't afraid of, like, touching on religion and being really sacrilegious and, like, just delving into those issues, you know, or those themes, I should say, but it's a really, it's a really good movie. And I got Don't Look Under the Bed, yeah. Effective movie, effective. Uh, have you seen it? No. Mm, okay, so we've talked about Halloween Town and we talked about Hocus Pocus, mm -hmm. at least Disney originals. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta say this is probably the first one that's ever actually creeped me out. Yes, we had a conversation about this mm -hmm. and how it's like genuinely creepy. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it pretty much takes, it, it's pretty much like the Boogeyman movie. Okay. So it revolves around the Boogeyman here. We have Frances, which is a, a, a teenage girl in high school. Well, actually, she's so smart that she skipped a grade. So, you know, she's... Everybody looks at her weird, and they're all judging the queen, you know. So her name's Frances Bacon. Mmm. Bacon. <laughs> um, but they live in this town called Middleburg, and uh, strange things begin to happen. Clocks are being moved forward, so everybody's waking up earlier than they should. There's, like, dogs on the roof. Eggs are going missing graffiti, a whole bunch of vandalism, and a lot of these things are pointing to Francis. 
so this whole time she appears to be going crazy so her parents are like oh my gosh what's wrong with you are you okay like let's exercise you yeah like what's wrong with you what's going on all these signs are pointing to you you can tell us we're your parents and this whole time she's being followed or stalked by this uh black male which is racist which is yeah it's kind of weird right appropriate for the time though let's yeah be, appropriate let's, for the time let's be real you know it's kind of iffy what's going on here you know there's a black man following a a young white girl well he's young too we should have seen it was this bill cosby no um oh but uh it turns out this guy is an imaginary friend but not her imaginary friend so not everybody can see him only her and small children. Imaginary friend. You got that. His name is Larry Houdini. Mm. So then he's like, whoa, you can see me? And she's like, yeah, I can see you. And I see you following me everywhere. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? I didn't know Disney approved that kind of language. Yeah, I know. Uh, but it did get a PG rating, so know that parental mm -hmm. guidance parental guidance so he's like oh so you can see me well i was sent here by the guy in my head which is an actual person in the movie it's a guy guy in the head and he was like he was he sent me here to help you because you're being framed by now we know it's the boogeyman so he's the one doing all the vandalism and all the weird stuff that's going on but he's trying to frame her and uh the movie goes on and slowly we start realizing that the boy which uh, her brother she has a younger brother or she has two younger brothers but the young young one almost died and had to get like bone marrow trans fusion or transfer whatever you call transplant i don't know whatever you call that medical procedure yeah, yeah, yeah. with yeah. the bone marrow yeah stuff um yeah the bone the stuff inside your brain right, right, right. medical stuff yes 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 well he yes. went through that whole thing and his sister francis was like like you almost died bro like you need to stop believing in these imaginary friends and it turns out that larry houdini is the boy's imaginary friend and and listen carefully because you might miss it. If you stop believing in your imaginary friend, you start turning into a boogeyman. So it turns out, spoiler alert by the way, click out if you want. It turns out that Francis is telling her brothers to stop believing in imaginary friends because they're not real. So now she's slowly realizing that Larry is turning into a boogeyman. Because he has his little episodes where, like, his eyes will turn green and then, like, his nails will get long and he's, like, aggressive. And she's like, oh, my gosh, what's happening with you? And so then he was like, oh, my gosh, you told your brother that I wasn't real and now I'm turning to the boogeyman because he stopped believing in me. Oh, Disney, of course. Just like Halloween Town, you stop believing in me. Disney, you know, Believe! The magic. So she's like, oh, my gosh, no. This can't be happening. Uh, so she starts uh, trying to convince her brother that he is real so that she can save Larry. But at the same time, the boogeyman is trying to get Francis. And it's a big fiasco. It's a fun ride. Do we do we know who the boogeyman originally We do. Ooh, interesting. Do you want the tea? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so it turns out that the Boogeyman... Oh, this could be the first uh, Disney transgender movie and interracial movie. Mark my words. <laughs> it turns out the Boogeyman in the movie is France's imaginary friend. But she's all adult and mature and smart that these people don't exist. So her imaginary friend turned into... The boogie, the boogie man, the boogie. Oh yeah, person. The boogie man, a boogie person. How do you know? Boogie person. So the boogie man boogie goes person. back to being a boogie person. 
Is this like a non-binary individual? I'm confused. Yeah, that's what they that's what they call them. That's what they call their them. That's what they call them. Them. Okay, that's what they call them. <laughs> you got it right. So he's like the boogeyman. So he's like a legit boogeyman, like straight up scary looking dude. Which actually they had to tone down, and this is toned down because it's still creepy. The final product is still creepy, but they had to tone it down more from the original concept that they had. Oh, Disney. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this movie is is controversial, let me tell you. Okay. Let me tell you, controversial. Okay. So the main character is Frances, which is a white girl, as you may know. When they were looking for the part of Larry Houdini, he wasn't he wasn't uh, written as a black character. So when they found this guy, Ty, uh, and they casted him as Larry Houdini, the director, Kenneth, big shout out to Kenneth, because he's, he's, he's the real MVP for, okay. for this production. Most valuable player, got it. Disney, the, the higher ups in Disney, called him and was like, uh, so we couldn't have but notice that you hired or casted a black man for this role. Are you gonna change the ending? Now the ending, he kisses Francis. So, interracial kiss. And Disney called him to see if he was gonna change the ending because it's a white woman and a black man kissing. And the director said, why would I change the ending? I was like, come on guys, it's the end of the 20th century. Like, girls, like, come on. Like what? Like what are we doing here? Like you know, you know what I'm saying? Like what's going on here? So eventually, after a few discussions back and forth with Disney and Debacles. and the director, Disney granted the ending to stay the same. So there's that. And that's my choice for 1999. Yeah, after that description, I really want to watch the movie now. It's a pretty fun movie. Check it out if you haven't. Yeah, on Disney. Definitely check it out. And, and those are our choices. Yes. For 1999 on our 30 years of Halloween here at the Late Night Tea Show. And we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Remember. Or the subscribe. next day. Because apparently you don't know with us anymore. We appreciate your dedication to us, though. Thank you so much for your patience. We love you. Don't look under the bed. I mean, you could always subscribe and it'll let you know when we have a new video. I mean, like, what better reason to subscribe to our channel, right? <laughs> yeah. Remember to subscribe. Tell all your friends. Tell your girlfriends. Tell your wives. Tell your husbands. Tell your nephews. Your nieces. <laughs>